Hey folks, uh, here's my SKS, my Yugoslavian SKS that I recently purchased from Classic Firearms. Um, you know, I'm sure it went through some refinishing uh, because all the bluing looks like new again and it's just really nice shape. Um, but, you know, this gun was made a long time ago. Uh, when my buddy was firing it, uh, he was getting a lot of light primer strikes. And so I ordered a new hammer spring, and I also ordered a, uh, a lighter spring um, that pushes against the sear from Wolf Springs to kind of loosen up the trigger pull a little bit. And I, uh, and I also uh, 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 saw a video from Iraq Veteran 8888 on, on uh, l limiting the, uh, the, the creep. Uh, f uh, on the trigger uh, by by uh, shortening the sear, so I, I looked into that and I I did that a little bit, uh, but instead of using a belt sander, I used a, a surface grinder, so it, it's the, the sear is more uh, you know precision. So the next thing I want to do because this is a non-chrome lined barrel, um, yet when I looked down the barrel, it looked great you know real nice and shiny and just so this this piece is like you know it's virtually brand new gun so it's just really great so you know um uh i'm gonna try something i've used it before i don't know if you guys know but this is a a, a material a, a one-time treatment called microlon and uh, although this is not the gun juice product I believe that it's pretty much the same thing. And what it is, is it's uh, little particles that get embedded into all of the imperfections inside the um, the barrel. Uh, you know, nothing is perfectly smooth. I'm going to do some velocity testing before, and then I'm going to do some Microlon treatment to it. And we're going to see if the velocity increases theoretically if it in fact reduces friction that it should we should see a, a velocity increase of course I'll use the same ammunition for uh, anyway so the way I'm gonna do it is um, is by uh, shaking it up the particles are very small and the, some of the larger particles um, are not in suspension and they f they fall to the bottom. So you want to shake it up really vigorously to get those particles uh, all swimming around in there. And then I will dip I will dip my uh, brush in there and I'll swab the bore and then I'll take a shot and I'll just repeat again and again. Every, after every shot, I'll swab the bore with a with a new uh, with with a refreshed uh, patch with this liquid and depositing a little bit of these particles in there and every time the the heat the friction and heat uh, uh, of a fired bullet goes it will kind of like melt the microlon particles into the barrel uh, microlon was developed in the 60s uh, and it's a secret formula they never patented it they kept it secret and to this day Microlon was the only place you can get it. Uh, what it is, I don't know, but they, the analogy they made with the Microlon is, imagine two bricks, and you were to take a piece of beeswax and uh, grind it, you know, put it in between the two bricks as they slid, you know, well, all those little pots and, 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 and holes and nooks and scratches would get filled uh, with the, uh, uh, the resin and, um, and and basically make it a more smooth surface. And uh, I once did it to a, uh, a Smith & Wesson 29 Classic and I was shooting cast lead bullets and I had problems with it fouling within like 10 shots. Man, that, that it's a 44 Magnum. It would um, you know the 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 front 
section of the barrel would get all fouled up with lead. My accuracy would go down. It's just just nasty. Anyway, <laughs> you know, I did the same thing with Microlon on that Smith & Wesson 29 Classic. And after I did the treatment, it never fouled again. <laughs> so, I tell you, this stuff does work. It does reduce friction. So we're going to get the chronograph out. And we're going to see if we can actually see a velocity increase. Stay tuned. All right. I just put 10 rounds. We're going to fire it. We're going to record the results before Microlon. Okay, that blew the, uh, safety on. I don't like what happened there. Hmm. Two, six, three, five. Five hundred. I got one more. Twenty three forty three. Twenty three forty three. Looks like I got one more. Twenty three seventy three. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna. Swab the barrel down and fire and swab and fire with the Microlon swabs again and again and again. Oh man, I'll probably do like maybe 20 shots and then we'll come back and, and check the velocity. I'm not going to bore you with the monotony of all the swabs, but I'll do that for a while and then we'll see. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, we'll come back with the results. Okay, now we're going to test. I did about 30 rounds of, of, of firing. Um, between each round, I, I did a swab with the Microlon fluid. Let's take a look at the, our, our velocity. Two four nine two. Six 
seems to be blasting it all over the place. I'm going to keep the notepad here. Okay. Two, four, one, eight again. That seems odd. Four, three, four. Two, four, two, two. You can see what the blast does. Really crazy. See, I lost the uh, the diffusers, so I just kind of made these. They seem to work, but they get blasted around. Four five two. Two four two three. Two four five five. Four two six. Two four eight seven. <laughs> I think I've got one more. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> oh no, that's it. All done. Okay, I'm going to come back with the results. All right. So we got the results in. Was it faster after the Microlon procedure? No. In fact, the first time we shot 10 rounds, we had a total... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, right, of course, ten shots. Total of 24,546 feet per second. That's, that's just adding them all up. After the Microlon, total velocity of 24,427. I mean, very close, neck and neck. But, you know, uh, when I first did the first grouping, I noticed, first shot, 2,485 feet per second. Second shot, 2,635 feet per second. What? I mean, heck, that's, 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 uh, it's like 150 uh, feet per second difference. Then 2,500, and then it drops down to 2,334, and... 2444, four, four, then back up to 2533, three, and then back down to 2409, and then last couple were, were, were in the 2300s feet per second range. Then after the Microlon, they're all within the 2400 feet per second range. 2492, 2418, 2418, 2434, 2422, 2452, 2423, 2455, 2426, 2487. You know, I mean, I can't explain it, folks. Except, I mean, the, the, the barrel was the same temperature. I let the barrel cool off. And the timing between each shot was pretty much the same. The ammo, of course, was the same. Same box of toll ammo. After Microlon, 
velocity readings were more consistent. So you figure, Microlon, interesting. Didn't increase velocity, which is what I was hoping. But, um, hmm. But it's more consistent, and you know what? I'll take it. All right. Hope you find that interesting. I did. All right, bye.